हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल वी आर बैक अगेन विद न्यू वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ ग्रेविटेशनल टाइट्स मीन्स अ थ्री डी ग्रेविटेशनल वेव सिम्यूलेशन यूजिंग पाइथन सो विल स्टार्ट दिस बाय इंस्टॉलिंग द रिक्वायर्ड लाइब्रेरीज So NumPy is used for numerical computation and generating grid points and matplotlib is used for plotting the 3D gravitational wave surface and MPL toolkit enables 3D plotting using matplotlib So now we'll define the grid for the simulation So here x is equals to np dot length space gives the x axis range from minus five to plus five with hundred points, and y is equals to np dot length space. This gives y axis range from minus five to plus five with hundred points. and this creates a 2d mesh grid from x and y values where np dot length space creates 100 evenly spaced points in the range from minus 5 to plus 5 for x and y axis and np dot mesh grid this generates a grid of x and y coordinates forming a 2d plane where the wave will be calculated and now we'll define wave parameters So here frequency controls how many oscillation wave peaks occur in a simulation and wavelength responses the distance between the peaks not directly used in the equation and amplitude defines the height of the wave maximum space time distortion and time is equals to 0 for a static snapshot that can be animated to show real time wave evolution now we'll compute the 3d gravitational wave surface So this equation models the gravitational wave pattern where wave component sin f into r minus t this r is equals to x square plus y square or 0.5 this represents the radial distance from the center like ripples on water and sin frequency into r minus time creates oscillations which are wave like structure and damping component is exponent minus 0.2 into r or 2 so the exponential decay ensures that waves fade as they move outward and models how gravitational waves weaken over long distance like real astrophysical waves and multiplication with amplitude scales the wave intensity 
and now we'll create the 3d figure and access for this plot So here this creates a figure size and sets a plot to 10 by 7 and sets the figure size for a better view and ax is equals to figure dot add this creates a 3d plot using matplotlib. So now we'll plot the gravitational wave surface. So this plots and creates a 3D surface plot from the computed values where C map is equals to cool warm uses a blue red color map to highlight the wave crest and throws and edge color is none which removes edge lines from a smooth visualization. And now we'll add the labels and the titles. So here ax dot set x label y label and z label sets the required label for each axis and indicates spatial direction and wave intensity and ax dot set title sets a title which describes the astrophysical concept being visualized and now we'll remove the grid and text for the cleaner look. So this removes the access text to make the plot clean and visually appealing and at last we will display the plot. So here we can see a gravitation tide wave simulation pattern. So thanks for watching this video.